Hello viewers, I am Praveen. In this course, you will quickly learn all the operating system concepts uniquely through question and answer sessions. So let's begin. For the given set scheduling of processes, perform first come first served and shortest request ne next non preemptive. So for this particular set of data, okay, we have to perform first come first served and shortest request next, uh, next scheduling. Now, let us first know about what is this first come first serve and uh, scheduling. So for the first come first serve scheduling, jobs are executed on first come first serve basis. So whichever job is going to come first will get executed first. It is non preemptive. So whatever is job is given for execution, it will execute till it gets terminated or till it's uh, till it completes its execution. So it will not be stopped and in between. Easy to understand and implement. It is very easy to implement and understand because whatever is going to come and we just whoever is coming first is going to get a chance to execute and it is going to execute till it completes. Its implementation is based on first in first out queue. So it's something like a queue first in first out whatever is coming will come. Whatever is coming in first will go out first. Poor in performance as the average wait time is high. So whatever actually if there are many processes whatever processes have come after the first process they will actually have to wait till or if there is a five processes then the fifth process has to wait till all the one two three four processes are completed. So poor in performance as average wait time is high. Now let us know what is this shortest request net scheduling. Shortest request net scheduler always schedules the request with the smallest service time. So what does it do? Whichever, whichever process is the smallest, whichever process is going to take the least time will be the first which will get executed. Best approach to minimize waiting time. So as it is always to tell you executing the smaller processes first, so it is a best approach because the next process will not have to wait for a longer if there is a, a process which is going to take some 15 seconds and there is another process which takes only 10 uh, one, uh, one second then it will execute the process with the fun, one second so the next process will uh, get executed after one second so it will on the second second we will have the second process to execute if it is so the best approach to minimize waiting time is it implement in batch system where required CPU time is known in advance? So it is easy to implement in in the places where where the process execution time is known in advance. So if we have to know in advance how much this process time is going to take and and implement. So it is only easy to implement in those conditions. Impossible to implement in interactive system where required CPU time is not known. So it is impossible because to tell you if we don't know how long this process is going to take, it cannot be, it cannot be a shortest request or it cannot be a shortest process. Uh, so it is impossible to implement in interactive system where required CPU time is not known. The processor should know in advance how much time process will take. So this processor should know in advance how much time this process is going to take. The biggest pro bigger processes may not execute as required request remains pending until all shorter requests have, have been serviced. Now the bigger process may get executed too after a lot of time or may not get executed if there are continuously smaller processes coming in. So if there are smaller processes coming in, then the smaller processes will go for process execution, whereas the bigger process will keep on waiting uh, till all the smaller processes have completed execution. So the bigger process may not execute or may take a lot of time to execute as the request remains pending until all the shorter requests 
have been suppressed. So now that we have understood what is how these both are the first come first served is whichever is going to come first will execute it. So we don't have to look at any of this timing what we have to think when each process have come. So process 1, process 2, process 3, process 4, process 5. There are 5 processes. Each arrival time is put here. So this is come at 0 seconds. This is come at the 2 seconds, 3 seconds. The process 3 is at 3 seconds. Process 4, 4 is at 5 seconds and process 5 is at 9 seconds. So naturally it will just the first come first serve will execute in the linear fashion. The process 1 which is at 0 second will execute for 3 seconds because the service time is for this. This will keep on executing for 3 seconds. So it will execute for 3 seconds. The process 2 which it comes at the 2 seconds uh, naturally that will get start execution from the 3 seconds because the first one has to complete. So from 3 seconds it will execute for the next 3 seconds because the service time for the process 2 is 3 seconds. Now the service time for the process 3 is 2 seconds so it will start executing from 3 plus 3 is that is 6 that is 6 seconds it will start executing and it will execute for the next 2 seconds so here it becomes 8 seconds. From the 8th second the process time of the process 4 uh, will execute for 5 seconds so this is this is executing for the next 5 seconds that is process 4 and process 5 we will start executing that is from 8 plus 5 13 seconds that is from the 13th second for 3 seconds so it will get completed at 16 seconds now this is first come first serve whichever is it's a very linear one whatever is come first is executing first now in shortest request net only the shortest process will get executed first. So at the 0 at second there is no other process other than the process 1. So the process 1 will go for execution. And as this is non preemptive it will go on executing till for the next 3 seconds. So before what happens in process in the second uh, at second 2 the process 2 arrives. The process 2 is of the size 3 seconds. And at second uh, seconds 3, process 3 arrives, which is of 2 seconds. So, as the process 1 gets completed at 3 seconds, the process 3 has already as, uh, arrived. So, what it will do, and the process 3 is of only 2 seconds compared to the process 2, which is of 3 seconds, it will give process 3 for execution. Now, process 3 is executing and not the process 2. So process 3 is of 2 seconds. So process 3 is executing for 2 seconds. Now after 5 seconds. So, so this is 3 plus 2. At 5 seconds this particular process has arrived. This is process 4. Which is of 5 seconds. But compared to this process 4 which is of 5 seconds. Process 2 is only of 3 seconds. So process 3, 2 process is smaller than the process 4 process. So process 2 process will be given for execution. So from this, now you can see here the process 3 is getting executed from 5th second. Process, process 2 is getting executed uh, and it will be executing for the next 3 seconds. So process 2 is executing for the next 3 seconds. And after that, at 8 seconds, there is no other process which has arrived. There is only process 4 in the queue. So, uh, that is of 5 seconds. So it will take up process 4 for execution and it will execute for the next 5 seconds. But at process at uh, timing 9 seconds, the process 5 arrives which is of 3 seconds. But as process 4 has already started executing, it will keep on executing till its completion. Then it is going to take up process 5 for execution and process will keep on executing for the next three seconds so I hope you you understood this very clearly yeah, how this first come first served and shortest request next uh, next algorithms are scheduled thank you for watching please subscribe like share and comment thank you very much